Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty good day because <laughs> I'm getting ready to show you a monster. I mean, a monster of a knife. And I've got a little something special to tell you. So stick around because you don't want to miss the announcement I'm about to make. Look at this. This is the O Knife Gower. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait until you see the gigantic blade on this thing. This is an oversized knife of epic proportions and I absolutely am totally digging it. And I don't know how I've managed to miss getting to check out the Gower, but this thing is sweet. Now look at this. It has rather slick G10 and it's kind of a, I don't know, what color would you call that? Opal or ivory colored? It has a captive pivot with ceramic bearings and it's blue anodized, which looks very nice. It has some good jippy up here very nice jipping nice and grabby i'll show you that here in a second and uh it does not have a reversible clip however it does have a nice sturdy clip that is inset into the g10 which is very nice very very nice nice and sturdy are you ready to see this blade pow right in the kisser oh yeah look at that this is a giant, or at least an oversized knife, but here's the thing. It fits in the pocket and carries very well. You talk about a attention getter or a conversation piece, this bad boy is a conversation piece. And if you wanna see what it looks like up next to the Kaiser Sheepdog and the regular Sheepdog, I'm gonna get those out here in a second so we can see how it sizes up. But this is a big D2 cleaver blade. It has a big forward choil. From tip to tip, this is 8.9 inches long and has a 3.82 inch blade. The sharpen length's 3.4 inches, so you have almost three and a half inches of sharpen length. The blade height, check this out, 1.76 inches, and it weighs in at 7.1 ounces. And let's see how it cuts a piece of paper. Now I told you, hold on, cause I'm getting ready to tell you something very, very cool. And it's not just about this knife. So hang on to your seats. Are you ready? Let's see what happens. Oh yes. Oh, are you hearing that? It is so quiet. Wow. Okay. So this is very, very sharp. It is well done right out of the box, right from the factory. And oh, you talk about drop shutty. And the finish on this is very nice. Let's take a look here. Get up nice and close. Other than the fact that I haven't wiped it off again, the blade looks very nice. It's nice and uniformy. Has some little dots you can just barely see the or barely feel them and they kind of match the dots on the handle. Now this would be a very good color G10 to dye any color you like. For our fit, let's see. Left and right, up and down, it is Rock solid, not a bit of movement whatsoever. The lockup's about, right about 40, 45%. And is it centered? Yes, it is centered. And for your action, yes, I love it. So with a big blade like this, if you don't have jimping up on the flipper, you have a good chance of missing it. But this one, that jimping is done just right. They went over the edge and gave us that one extra jimp, which it doesn't matter if my finger's on the left or on the right, I'm getting good placement and a nice solid kapow right in the kissa. So deployment is very easy. You pretty much have maybe a couple deployment options. One would be the slow roll and how about the ergos? My hand's four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter, holding it back here on the handle. Yes, you are good to go if you have small, medium, large, extra large hands. All you folks that have the XL hands, this would be a fantastic carry for you. Oh yeah, check it out. Yes, love this full size forward choil. And not to mention the fact you can sharpen this thing till the cows come home. Oh yes, it's a beast. And before I forget, let's see what it looks like next to the sheepdog. I changed the camera angle to go look straight down. That way you're not getting, get any distortion from the camel, camel angle. <laughs> you don't want a camel angle distortion. You know what I'm saying? Here is the Kaiser sheepdog regular size. This one's the one with non-flipper. And here is the non-flipper sheepdog XL. And I had no idea that the Gower was in the Sheepdog XL territory by every sense of the word, every sense of the imagination. The handle is just slightly shorter and the blade, as far as your sharpen length, you have less sharpen length because of the choil, but the, the height is pretty much identical. Yeah, the height of the blade is identical to that of the Sheepdog XL. 
So if you have a Sheepdog XL or you haven't got one, now check this out, the Gower. And this one, ooh, and it's priced right. By the way, that's one of the things I was gonna tell you is that O-Knife or O-Lite is doing a secret, not a secret, I'm calling it a secret. They're doing a quick flash sale. It's only a two day thing from August 23rd through 20, 25th where they have a bunch of knives like 30% off. All of, almost all of their knives are on sale during this sale. And I, you know, I was looking through the list, I just grabbed a couple, but you have the Freeze and the Roboto or the Roboto 2. They have deals on the Arkfeld. Oh yeah, and check this out. They also have a deal going on on the, the Exploit Mini, which this is fantastic. You've seen that in my other videos. But back to this knife real quick. Um, I will have links in the description and in the comments where you can go and check out the knives and stuff that are on sale just for two days. And it's not like the regular sales where they have a ton of announcements out there and all that. This one's, it's, I don't know, I'm calling it sneaky. It's not sneaky, I'm just kidding. But the, this one right here, um, I believe this one's gonna be like 15% off. And if you take 15% off, this is gonna run you somewhere, I believe in the 59, 50 something dollar range. So the ergonomics, are comfortable. Do I have any hot spots? No, I don't have any hot spots. And moving back out here, right back to our regular angle. Yeah, so I have to say this is this is a fun one. It's it's easy to carry. You know, it's one of those surprising knives that for the size, how easy it carries in your pocket and kind of disappears. It's very slick, very smooth. Obviously, it's drop shutty because well, yeah, when you have a blade that big, it's going to drop shut without an issue. Now, if you're gonna do any chopping or something like that, you're a little limited by the fact that you have a flipper tab down here, so you might wanna be at the edge of the table, then you could actually do some full-on slicing. But this would be a good camp knife or just a great knife to carry and get out of your pocket like, oh, you need me to cut that string? That string? I got gotcha. you. But overall, I am way more impressed than I thought I was gonna be. This, it does not, represent what I saw in the pictures, what I thought this knife was. I had no idea it was such a large cleaver knife. I don't know, that's what happens. The difference between seeing something in person or something on video, and I hadn't seen this on video until, well, right now or that I'm making one. So that is the O-Knife Gower, and I'll have the links where you can go to and check out the sale. It's only a two-day sale, and they have all the cool bundles where you get something extra for a dollar or something extra for two dollars. But rather than explain it all, I'll let you go go check it out for yourself. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Gower. I'm really digging this knife. We'll talk about this on the live stream on Friday night. We have a live stream every Friday night. Bees Blades live at the hive. Don't miss it. If you subscribe and hit the notification button, you won't miss the live streams because we do giveaways every Friday and you won't miss them if you hit notifications. It'll tell you, hey, the live stream starts in a half an hour. So go watch this video. You'll really enjoy that. And until I see you in the chats or in the live streams or in the comments of this video, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.